making this video today to do my review on the 1-6 scale Jeff Gordon NASCAR remote control car. And this is a big car. You can see this box is huge. I've had it for a while. It's kind of beat up. But this is the box that I will ship it in if you decide you were interested in this remote control car. It's got a lot of neat features in this car. It's got digital proportional steering, which you can adjust how much of a turn you want the car to make. And it's good, so if you want to make a sharp turn and make the car just kind of do a 360 and complete turn turnabout. Multi-frequencies, which is good if you're going to have races with other vehicles that are remote control, because you can adjust the frequency to just control your vehicle and it won't interfere with another vehicle. Variable speeds, 120 scale miles per hour, meaning that for the size of this car, the scale, it'll pick up the speed equivalent to a vehicle going 120 miles per hour per scale. Once you learn to use this car, you have a blast with it. I've have, I have many races with it, and it's real fun. The handset is designed to resemble a drill, as you can see. And you pull the trigger towards you, the vehicle goes forward, you pull it, you push it away from you, and the vehicle goes reverse. Also got the steering on the side here, and an on and off switch is right here. The actual car, folks, this is a nice car. And it's big, and it's got all the details on it that you will find on the real McCoy. There you go. It's got the DuPont emblem in the front with the flames and the blue contrast. It's got the number 24. It's got the Eagle Goodyear uh, tires on it. The Lay's emblem on the side. And all the other little emblems that this vehicle has. It does have a few scuffs because I've you know, in the time you learn to use it and control it, once before you master that, you're going to have a few accidents if you're running it on the road with a sidewalk, and that's what I did. You want to try to take this to a park where you have a lot of open area, and then you're really going to be able to open up the, the speed on this thing. But it does have a couple of scuffs on the front and on the side there. They're not too bad, but um, as a matter of fact, I got some footage of one of those wrecks. Take a look. This is the 1-6 scale. Jeff Gordon NASCAR remote control car that we're going to be trying out today. Awesome wreck there, but the car is okay, Holy folks. It only has a little shot. scuff, believe it or not, for as awesome as that wreck was. And it has a previous scuff that was on the side of the window. That was uh, another scuff, but that was before it went into a kind of went into a manhole. I'm a very but, uh, famous race car. Like an item, where you can find it, it's going to be on the bottom of the video. Talk to you in my next.